Hey guys, this is Matt. I've got a studio update for you, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's on the table. Alright, so, Plastcraft. Uh, I have finished all the assembly and all the modifications on the Plastcraft set. I'm going to be painting the heck out of them tonight. Uh, so let's go over some of the mods. I did not mod the entire set because uh, we are going to be posting this on our web store as, a, uh, as an option for you to get a commission on this set. So if you want something like this, uh, just you can either email us or we'll have it here in about a month or so able to click to commission on our web store. Uh, so let's go over the modifications I did do. Uh, the biggest one is the uh, wiring. The wiring is everywhere on this. Uh, it's supposed to look industrial so I like the idea of exposed wiring. Um, the tubes didn't work out so well. I tried some things uh, to make it all kind of mesh together and it just it threw off the overall look of the set. Uh, but I did do one that uh, turned out really awesome, and that's this one. I just really like how that turned out. Um, so let's take a look at some of the battle damage that I've done as well. I've kind of gone through and cut out these little, uh, these little like explosion dent areas, and I added a little hot glue right here to create some surface area as if it was leaking out. So I'm also going to throw some OSL on those areas to make it look like radiation, radioactive goo that's coming out of things. I also did the same thing uh, with the uh, with the explosion pieces and the the dents on some of these, and that's going to look like. Um, I'm thinking like plasma fire of some sort, uh, some sort of high-tech weapon that's blasted through. So you'll see all sorts of uh, burn and corrosion effects around the area where those hit. Uh, I did that same thing to all of these. So you can see I've got, like this one just has the goo kind of in different areas, sort of like it's leaking. And then this one's got the same thing going on there. Um, I also finished construction of my Lost for Heldorado. Uh, so that is going to be pretty fun. I'm going to be getting those painted up when I get my immortals done. I've also got Commandant Irisk hanging out right here. So I'll put him with my Heldorado. And here's the first run of plaster, plaster uh, molds that I did last night. Um, these, uh, this has turned out to be a bit of an interesting challenge. So uh, I decided to switch. Originally this is what I was using. I was using the uh, cup method. This will only do a single mold. That is the only downside. Now I'm still going to hold on to these because if I just need to cast like one mold, well then that's, that's fine. Uh, but I'm casting four molds at a time and that uh, just takes forever when you're using one cup. Um, so what I did is I picked up this. This is a Pyrex uh, one liter measuring cup. Now, uh, the thing you have to remember with this is with these cups, um, you can let them dry and then you can kind of bend them around and you, you know, it knocks the plaster loose. You cannot do that with the Pyrex. Pyrex is glass, uh, so you have to wipe it out as soon as you've poured it. Uh, once you do that, um, it's fine, but if you don't do it, you're pretty much going to have to buy a new one because I don't, I don't think you could get the, the plaster out of that at that point. Um, so this is incredibly messy, uh, <laughs> as you can tell. Uh, there's kind of no point in painting this, I'm starting to realize, because it's so messy. I mean, I can't even get everything up off of it. it uh, it's also, because uh, I tried, and it actually took off some of the polyurethane uh, that I'd put down. Now, thankfully, it's dental plaster, so it filled these little holes that I accidentally made. Um, so let's look at the actual molds and see how these are coming along. Uh, the, I'm using the wet water method, so that's what that is right there. Uh, that's a uh, wet water uh, filled Tupperware thing. But they're coming out pretty good. Um, the Let's see, which mold is this? This is not, I can't remember the exact number, but this is their um, blah 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 blah, trying to think. Uh, it's their metal plates mold. That's something like that. Uh, it They get very few bubbles, uh, even with the first couple of casts. So it didn't take me very long to get these dead perfect. I mean, these are turning out really nice. So let's take a look there, right there. Um, now, one I'm having more challenges with, though it's going to serve, for the purposes it's going to serve uh, for Space Hulk, uh, it's going to be fine to have these, is lots of little micro bubbles. Like, let's see right there. 
these little micro bubbles keep popping up and I'm still getting my casting down but this is just the first run I'm, I, I think this is only five casts, six casts thus far and as time goes on I will get more practice with this but this still works because uh, the micro bubbles uh, that's going to appear as like corrosion so like right here you can let me move this here so you can get a better focus on it there you go so all that is going to appear as corrosion anyway because uh, the Space Hulk set we're going to do it in a rust style and then you've got all these these doorway pieces which are really neat also remember the Grayskull Fitness Challenge, uh, you have till the end of June to enter, so it's getting, uh, it is the 16th today. So make sure to get your entries in as fast as possible, uh, because we're starting to get down to the wire. I'm going to check and see how many days we have this month. So we've got a little, like about two weeks dead on for people to get their entries in. So make sure to get your entries in for the Grayskull Fitness Challenge, spread the word about it, tell people about it. That way we can get as many entries as possible, as many people working out and improving their lives as possible.